He just became a father again. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, very, very happy about that. You know, it, it's the best and uh, we're not sleeping a lot, but it's part of the game. But today must be a huge milestone for you, coming up to manufactured movements like that. It's a huge milestone. Yeah. I mean, for us, we're, we're extremely happy. We're extremely proud. The team has been working so hard on, on all this. And uh, yeah, it's a special year, you know. Uh, I think that 2020 will definitely be a year that we will remember in our history. So, no, it's, uh, it's great. So you, you launched Norcane in 2018. I mean, that's two years ago. Yeah. That is quite impressive. Tell me about that. Uh, we knew that, you know, nobody's really waiting for a new watch brand. Are there enough watch brands? Yes. Do we need another watch brand? No. That was part of the analysis, but I think it's also that there's always space for a, a new independent, we're all Swiss, a family owned watch brand with a long term vision. We want to really, you know, and this underlines it with the two uh, manufactured calibers that we are launching together with Kennedy. I think it's really a, a perfect uh, sign of what we're planning to do at Norcane. We want to invest into our future and, you know, offer our customers uh, really good quality watches with always new features. And I think that's what we managed to do now with these two. Uh, manufactured calibers. Can you talk a little bit about the new models with the manufactured movements inside? Or is that too early? No, uh, of course, you know, for us, there's a, to be honest, we're spending all our time on that. Uh, we put ourselves under big pressure because we want to not only launch new models, we want to launch fantastic new models. I think, uh, you know, both in terms of the three hand where we have existing collections and we need to find something that's different yeah. to what's what we have in the market today that will continue to be very important. You know, the Eta Celita movements that we have today will remain in the collection. But we need to find uh, really a great product with the, with the manufacturer caliber. And of course, uh, the GMT is something that we're also spending a lot of time in. Yeah. Uh, I think it's actually our responsibility to launch a, an amazing watch with this movement. Uh, nothing else from, from a great watch would make the story good, you know. That's impressive. I mean, you have approximately 70 retailers around the world. You have Siddiqui, you have Wemper, you have Bukor, and you, you, you have West Time in the US. Amazing, you have so many doors, so many retailers in such a short time. Well, first of all, we're, we're super happy that we, we have the trust from these partners, you know. We didn't expect it. We, we were planning with around 10 stores when we launched the brand and now we have 70 retailers worldwide. It makes me very proud to see that the leading retailers believe in Norcane. Yes. Um, at the same time, of course, uh, we are very excited now to be able to pay back their trust because I believe that with these new uh, calibers, we really have something amazing to offer them and uh, yeah, we're excited to see their reactions. I have noticed that uh, quite a few, actually my collector friends as well, they've really taken in your brand. It feels good yeah. because it hasn't always been, you know, that easy. Uh, in the beginning, it's a lot of work and uh, we really noticed that on Instagram, we're getting more coverage. We're getting people who love watches, who see the detail, uh, that we've put a lot of work into the detail of the designs. And uh, no, it's, a, it's really a, a great feeling. So product comes first. I think we, we spent a lot of time on our products and we're happy to see that it's being, you know, acknowledged. By, by experts, because we're often talking about, you know, really watch bloggers that start to write to us, hey guys, yeah. what are you actually doing? Yeah. And that, that's the nicest feeling. People love numbers. Uh, can you reveal anything on sales? I can, I can tell you that our first uh, plans, uh, I'm happy to say that we reached them. <laughs> yeah. uh, we had, as I said, only 10 point of sales in our plan. So with 70, you can imagine that we we, we went a lot further than we expected and what's great for us are the sellout results. We have today really great results in the US, Japan and Switzerland. Um, we're working on our, our brand uh, awareness in Germany and uh, Dubai, other markets that we really believe we have good potential. But um, yeah. That everything has happened so fast. I mean, do, do you still have dreams, goals? Yeah. What's the next thing? So of course, we're, we're happy and but what we really want to is continuously strengthen the Norcan brand. Yeah. You know, really uh, get that freshness out. We're a young, dynamic team. Uh, get people on board with us, and uh, that we really listen to our customers. They're the centerpiece of Norcan. We want to make sure that we, you know, produce watches that they're actually looking for. And um, yeah, my my target would definitely be in the next years to strengthen that, to continuously uh, produce uh, nice watches that uh, people are excited about, and yeah. that when we launch novelties, people actually want to see what we're doing. 
Flying to Switzerland on a cold day, February 2020. Was it worth it? Was it worth visiting Knocking, a family-owned independent watch brand? Yes, it was. They're two years old, and now they came out with two manufactured movements, a 3 and a GMT. Is that impressive? Yes, it is. Do we need more watch brands right now? No, we don't. Do we need a two-year-old Swiss watch brand who just came out with two manufactured movements? Yes, we do. Oh, it goes, oh, it goes.